conversations are crucial in coming out process. Um, I think for me personally, uh, coming out is a uh, ongoing uh, process uh, throughout uh, throughout life, pretty much. Uh, me personally, I came out uh, in a uh, uh, to parts of my families in a uh, different time frames. So first, uh, through social media, uh, my cousins and uh, actually, my brother um, find find out that I was gay through uh, before my mom did, which is not typical. And they, uh, so I had com uh, conversations with uh, uh, almost each person uh, separately. But it was there was a big course preparation to have the conversation with my with my mom, and uh, I played out all uh, possible scenarios uh, that could that could happen in my head and I was ready for, for, for uh, each scenario. So it's very important to, I think, to be ready for different scenarios that may come out of conversation that, uh, that you may have with whether it's your mother, your family member, or a friend. Uh, also, uh, it's very important to be ready for, uh, for, uh, for, for this uh, conversation, to, to be ready to deal with uh, any outcomes. And to have a uh, support system um, and that will that will help with also any outcomes as well. Well, I mean, coming out is a conversation, right? So it's critical to have healthy conversations. Um, just like with anything, the more the better you are at communicating, the more communication you do, the be the better you're understood. Uh, making sure that the words you use uh, mean what you're you're meaning what you say. Um, I think that's how I'm understanding the question. I mean, you want to have good conversations and with the right people, right? So I, it really depends on who, you know, what age you're at and what, where you are, if you're in school, if you're at work, um, you know, are you talking to an adult, are you talking to a, a, a child or a peer? Uh, those conversations are going to be different based on it. And I think it, understanding what those differences are uh, for you, but most importantly, it's about how, how do you to having a conversation that you feel comfortable in engaging with, with the other person? I think conversations are vital. You, you actually, conversations, you come out over a series of conversations. I mean, to me, the, the first step is just saying I'm gay, but then eventually, depending on how people react, then you, 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 you keep coming out because my experience was, until I came out, I really wasn't necessarily being my true self. So I was starting after that to being, to really revealing who I was. So I think the bigger question is, if you're not having conversations, that's the problem. And um, I think it, it gets easier with each conversation. Sometimes, sometimes they're a little harder than others. It depends on the dynamic of the relationship. If you're coming out with a coworker or a family member, it may be very different from a really good friend who is basically your extended family. You know, because we choose, we gay people choose our families, so um, or at least our our extended families. So, I think if you're not talking, that's the red flag. Um, it really should. Conversation is the norm. I think when you start with someone who's a safe bet and then you know you get that positive feedback I think that encourages you to keep telling people and it, it's sort of like a ball rolling down a hill you need to get that ball starting to go a little bit so you start with the easy conversations and then maybe you work up to the harder ones and then you know there's just momentum behind it so sort of strategically planning conversations almost it really helps because it's sort of the ball never stops rolling you always have to do it so, you know, it gets easier over time and it gets more matter-of-fact and you just, it becomes part of your life doing it.